Lazy Gamer E3 2015 video footage, supported by Call of Duty Black Ops 3. We're here with Mike Bissell, we're talking volume. Last time we were talking volume, you were saying you think it's okay, it was good at that point. I was, it was, but I was lying. It was actually awful. Were you? Was no, it? it was, no, it was because, okay. Because it was okay you said point. you were gonna get, it was at good, and when it was, no, you were at pretty good, and you yeah. said you wanted to launch when it was good. It's, is that where you're feeling now? Like, yeah, no, it is good. Okay. It's, I, I think actually, like, it's it's gone up to pretty darn good. Yes, you're we have gone. You're allowed to swear on on our <laughs> app, so if you if if it's actually a pretty fucking good, it's or is not. It, is it no, not? No, no. Okay. Give it a couple of weeks. We'll get to pretty fucking good. <laughs> okay. Right now, it's pretty darn good. Okay. Um, not we'll, bad. We're gonna get to pretty fucking good. Um, it's looking pretty awesome. I must say. It looks pretty awesome. Yeah. It doesn't look pretty fucking awesome yet. <laughs> Um, no, it's, it's it's coming along. We're nearly there. We're we're, we're on our way. Um, like we did a lot of playtesting, and obviously we're here demoing it, which is great because we're seeing. Yeah, it feels like we've actually kind of made the game now, which is a great feeling. And so you know, two years, a lot of people tearing their hair out, stressing over this thing. Mostly you, I'm assuming. Oh my! I I I have been sharing my stress with many oh, others. Good. I have I have a very talented team, and we've uh, yeah we've made something cool. That's awesome. Now, for people who are coming in and are clueless and don't know what I'm talking about, what should they take away? Like, if they need to know one thing about your game, what's your eleva what's elevator pitch? PR, elevator pitch. PR, PR thing. spin. Yeah, what's your, what's your story? Um, so my own mine. No, um, <laughs> Volume, Volume is a stealth game about being heard. It is a stealth game that goes to uh, the core of stealth gameplay, that kind of, that's, that find, being found, getting away, using your environment, using gadgets and gizmos to avoid bad guys, and crucially, not able to kill them. Which means that you're kind of in a situation where you have to use all those, you know when you play a stealth game, and you have, you finish the stealth game, and you have a bag full of these amazing gadgets, but you never use them, because none of them are as good as a gun. Yeah. None of them are as good as a gun, so why would you use them? Um, that's what we tried to do. We took out the gun, and that forced us to make everything else feel really good, and and to give that stealth experience in the other way. Mm. Okay, cool. And like, what other stealth games? Because I'm a huge stealth game fan. Okay, like, okay, so, like, okay. Mark of the Ninja kind of thing. I did love, you learn I love from those kinds of bit games? What did yeah, you so I think I think for me, there's this kind of you can go back and you can look at '98. 1998, that was Thief and Metal Gear Solid came out. That was basically the birth spontaneously of stealth as we now know it. And to me, those two games were very important as a kid. Um, as a teenager, I kind of really grew up with those. Um, in recent times, yeah, Mark the Ninja, I mean, that game came out, I want to say, maybe two, three years ago now? Something like that, yeah, 2013-ish? I think maybe 2012, 2012 maybe. End of 2012. But it was great, and I loved it. What I, what I loved about it when I played it was that um, it was looking back to those games, but it was also actually doing a lot of stuff that was new in terms of game design. It was actually streamlining that. It was creating an experience that was cohesive and fun and awesome on its own terms. And that's that's the vibe I'm trying to do as well. I really want to uh, I want to make the game that you remember those games. I want to make I want to make that core awesome stealth experience, but make it for a modern audience who expects a certain kind of quality of control. Um, a certain quality of player teaching and kind of experience design that, you know, you can come into this game. We, we you know, I'm very proud of the fact we play tested with someone who didn't know stealth games. You know, we play tested, we had someone come in, and actually it's happened today as well. We have people come in and they, they ask us what the triangle coming out the front of the enemies is, and I say, well, that's what they can see. And to go from that, when you watch a player kind of going through play tests and they started there, and then, you know, a nondescript <laughs> amount of time that I'm not allowed to say to press later, you're like, oh my god, they're, they're like throwing a noisemaker, <laughs> leaping over a wall, stealthing, you know, running up tiptoes behind someone. Like, they're, they're really getting into it. I'm really proud that we've made a stealth game that can For take sure, them yeah. there. You don't have to have played every, every Metal Gear game yeah. to play this game. It's not like that. We don't want to make that game. Um, we want to make a stealth game that could be someone's first stealth game, but at the same time, we don't want to make a casual game that you, you don't quite, that doesn't ever feel like it delivers on yeah. that experience. We wanted to bring everyone into that and do something cool. So That's I think cool. we've got that right. That's quite cool. 
it, it sounds quite cool. It does. I see. I, I was proud of it. Do you, do you think that bit, that went that question went well? That, that went very well. That was a good that answer. That was a wasn't very it? good answer. That I was practiced really... that in the mirror like three times did every you, morning. Did you did your charisma like level up with that? I was like I was like. <laughs> She's come a long way. She's going to need a good answer to that one. I'm going to really good answers. I've got another, so I another practice. really... I've been practicing with fun. a bunch of journalists all day just for this just interview. Just for this. Yeah. So, you're now like the indie celebrity. Like, you and Rami Ismail, like, you guys tweet something and then, like, the next day it's like, Thomas was a lone creator because you don't have a name. You're just like, I'm Thomas... I'm like, was fan creator. of rectangles. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, but it's that's weird, isn't it? It is kind of weird. Yeah. Like there are a few indies out there that just exploded, not in a battle royale kind of way. Kind of like a spontaneous yeah. combustion. So, I mean, how has that affected volume? Like, do you see like people caring about it who you think maybe wouldn't, or are you just like, yay, everyone's here? And it's, I mean, it's 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 great that so the number of people who've come up to play volume who are like, you know, I love Thomas was alone, or you know, Thomas was alone was an important game. You know, and crucially, the really exciting part for me is I have people come up to play the game, and they're like, they say, hey, um, I'm a big Thomas Alone fan, you're like, cool. And they're like, what's this? I say, volume. They say, what kind of game is it? I say, stealth. They say, what's stealth? And that's awesome. Because <laughs> it's like, oh, okay, oh, well, let me right. show you. <laughs> like, let me induct you into this world of gameplay that I love. Because I am a big, stealth is probably my favorite genre, you know. Uh, platforming made sense for Thomas Was Alone because it was something that I could get done and it was a genre that I could see other games doing well in and it was like, okay, I can do this in my spare time, I can make a platformer, but like stealth is where my heart has been since I was a teenager and I'm really excited to finally be making that dream game. Yeah. Um, so yeah. That's really cool. And now, it is really cool. It is really cool. Now, it's really cool. Um, I'm sure the answer is going to be like, we're not talking about this at this time, okay. but... Thomas Was Alone is like the slut of games and is everywhere on all the platforms. I, 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 I accept your statement, if not your metaphor. Yes. Carry on. <laughs> um, um, so, obviously, volume is coming on PS4. That's yep. why we're here in the... in the. Thank you, Sony, for the, for the blue room. Cheers, Sony. Um, yep. So, it's quite cool. It's coming to PS4. That's where I will be playing it, um, for sure. But are you planning on doing the same sort of thing where you just release it to any and every platform? Well, so so there's two parts to the answer. One is it's coming out on PC on the same day, yes. which is cool. So, is there's, cool. so we got PC and Mac on Steam the same day, the PlayStation hits. And the other answer, and I'm going to do this as well as I can, yes. we're not talking about that now. Yes. So was that good? Because your voice, I thought your voice was better. Thanks. I could try it again. Try again for I, me. We're not talking about this at this time. We're not talking about this there at this you. time. Yeah. There okay. You go. So that's, that's the essentially the answer. Um, yeah, yeah. Basically. We all know what that means. I hope. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. You can wink and nudge as much as you like. Oh, that she says all the girls. There you go. There you go. Oh. Okay. Cool. So, when just to remind everyone as our like closer, because we try and have an arc, a like story it. arc, You've like a narrative. Me on yes. If I was an audience member, I would feel satisfied by this interview. I feel very satisfied. So, when, as the climax yeah. of this, Stop when it. can people Stop expect it. Volume to release on the world? I'm incredibly <laughs> uncomfortable now. Because um, you're British, I'm it sorry. Is, I'm, it's, I'm very shy, I'm very British, fun. very retiring. Um, August 18th is the is the day. I'm, I was going to continue in your favor, <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm not going to. August I'm 18th? Too British. August 18th on uh, PlayStation 4. PS Vita, Mac, and PC. I'm so glad it's coming to Mac. Me you know too. That? I made Mac it on gamer. Mac. Did you? Yeah, I work on Mac. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. By the way, just as a side note, yeah. I think I played Thomas Was Alone on Congregate like many, many, oh, many you years. Oh, you poor person. I was that one was of those. Awful. I was one of those tens of people. Did you not people. think this is terrible? I never want to play anything this man makes again. <laughs> I don't like check the names, so it's, it's oh, all okay. like an anonymous thing it. for me. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah. That was awful. Yeah, yes. but I'm just saying, like, the stalking of you actually it's began before days. either of us knew what was going on. I, well, I knew what was going on. <laughs> I was making games. I was you fine. Were, you were. But that's cool. Okay, cool. <laughs> also, thanks so much for your time. Always a pleasure. Always a pleasure. There we go. Winning. Like a pro. Like a pro. Like a pro. You should be in the movies. I should. You should be. And the second they call me, I will be.